Stray cat must have fucked his mum. Hey everyone, my name is Mike, and welcome to some more Witcher 3. We're still looking for Dandelion. We've been looking for this guy for so long now, and the next step in doing that is um, doing this next quest called the Plays the Thing. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to do this quest, and um, we've got to go speak to Priscilla and tell her what we've learned about Dudu. I actually don't even know what we've learned. I know Dudu is the halfling guy. So um, Priscilla is inside the Kingfisher, I think this place is called. This, this inn. So I think she's upstairs in her room. We'll go pay her a visit and um, see what Geralt has to tell her. As I can't remember. Here she is. So Priscilla is Dandelion's girlfriend. Think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan. But we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. Alright, so we're gonna use a Doppler, which is a person who can change their appearance, look like someone else. And use him to go into where Dandelion has been taken prisoner by... Who's who's taking him prisoner? I can't remember. I'm so bad. Sorry, guys. So I'm um, just going to continue with the quest anyway. So we've got to convince Dudu to come out of hiding. So we don't actually know where Dudu is. All right, so let's carry on. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion. Irina Renard's troop. That's all, really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings. Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Maybe it plays the thing, you know. What does that mean? Maybe we could use a play. Okay. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea. But I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides... Do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. It's going to take some time to write an entire play, isn't it? So alright, we can get to work on the play. Don't know that I can write a play. That's quite true. I don't know if I can. Let's just say that anyway. Not sure I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time together. Alright then, so she definitely wants us to help. Alright. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Uh... Actually, I was hoping. The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you. And that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Yeah. Not <laughs> more or less, not entirely. Yes, or yeah, more or less. More or less. That'll do. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Molla, a tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better, his beloved. Hmm, what do you think? Well, so you're just turning this into reality then? It's not making a story that will appeal to him. You're just pretty much telling him that we need him through the story. So, we can say good idea or need something different. I mean, is that something that, that um, what's his name will like, Doo Doo will like? Let's say, let's say good idea, because I don't know any better, to be honest. Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Well, perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But 
At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pulvera. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? No. Um, do I get to say any of this? It, maybe we can come up with a title if she's got the whole story set. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Um, a Doppler Salvation. A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. That's a shit name. That's too long. So I've got to pick between two of them, that one. Let's go with the Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Exactly. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, alright. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Drama or comedy? Okay, um, let's go with comedy. Make it fun. Think comedy's the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. Alright? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. <sighs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by a scar. Or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. Alright, so I need to take the script to this lady. So I'm not sure if Doodoo's gonna come because he likes the idea of the story. I think that's what she's thinking. Whereas Geralt is thinking more along the lines of you need to put a message in the title, because you know, he's not gonna know the script, the story, just by seeing the poster, is he? So it's gotta be in the title, surely, or maybe the tagline. Because the um Doodoo must be in the city as well, because the post posters most likely will only be in the city, so you know, he's got to be close. Alright, that door's locked. Can we speak to him? Can he let us inside? This is where Madame Marina's troop performs. Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? How much is a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket. <laughs> 50, yeah, I have to, that's all I can do. Yeah, one. Here, just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mamas in rehearsal. I wonder if there would have been an option there to um, go in a different way, climb over, something like that. Well, it's only 50 crowns, it's like nothing at all. So, this is, this is Irina. Madam Irina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia, Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. I mean, I don't think we're even close to getting Dandelion still. We've got to get Dudu first, then it's going to be loads of talking with him. And then we can think about moving on to getting Dandelion. It's taking forever. We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. So, we'd like to put on a play. I want to stage a play. Something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. 
Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? So, she, how, can, how can she be done writing it already? She, let, oh, she wrote it in five minutes. So, uh, why the ushers? How do I keep... How do I help you publicize the staging? Um... Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right, know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbour piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. Let's see if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Alright. So we need to find some protection for the the show and also some people to put in promote it. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. So we can go to the docks to hire ushers and we also need to recruit jugglers from the performing troupe called the Puffins. So which one's nearest? Yeah, the the um, Puffins are nearest. We'll do that one first. If they go the right way, that'd be a good idea. Alright, so this is the Puffins hideout, it looks like. Not hideout, but the headquarters, if you want to call it that. The performing artists. She looks familiar. Nice balls. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? I'm um, looking for the puffins. This the place. Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. What? Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Got a job for you. Yep. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs, and the churches pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threatened me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments, Lately, they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end. No clue what to do. All right, okay. So, will you publicize the play if I help with that? So, yeah, so we've got to take care of these this gang. Pissing them off or messing with them. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. Is he literally going to go out and murder them now? Like, this gang. <laughs> I love the way Kettle just goes like, Oh yeah? Okay, I'll just, I'll just kill them then. That's the, that's, they're right here. Literally down the steps outside the house. This is where they sit. So is this them? Speak to these people? Yep. So you're the ones. Oh, I thought so. Look what we got here. Is it just me, or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> really? Okay. Now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? It makes me. I just. I don't understand why people talk so much shit to witches when they when they know how dangerous they are. It's like, come on, mate. Do you realize what you're saying? And I'm gonna fuck you up in a minute. <laughs> Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted our arch emil fuck. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. 
Yeah, to play a different tune then every time they fought. <laughs> Go away. I'm not going to pay them. I can't do that one. I'm, I might change my skills so I can do this more often. Just say go away, and if they don't want to, I'll kill them. Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. This is a fight, in it? Yep. Here we go. Let's put some armor on. Come at me, boys. Whoa. He's dead. Oh, we killed one. They've given up. Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them. One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin. I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath a hood. Thank you very much. Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something all right. I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Alright, so we've done the um, the promoters for the show. Now we need to get some protection. Hire the ushers. And they're going to get some guys from the dock. Some tough guys. Because as we all know, dock workers are really tough. Apparently. Why are people running away? Am I really that scary? Just because I'm a witcher. Come on. It's only cat eyes and white hair. Alright then, we made it to the docks. This shouldn't be too difficult to hire these people. We should just give them coin, I think. Unless they want me to look at this, it's a fighting pit. They probably want me to fight to prove to them why they should work for us. So let's... Who can we speak to? Sophus the Bull. Let's talk to you. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metina. Killer instinct versus primal rage. Um, got a job for you as ushers. Yep. I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. Alright then, so we can pay them, or we can fight them and say, if I win, you do the, you do the job for us. Um, shall we make it, in let's make it interesting and fight. How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me, gratis. See, Hal's no fan of money. Failed romance. Spare you the details. Do you need something special to convince him? Here's an idea. Take us both on. Same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of metal. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. <laughs> So, <laughs> the 70 crowns was actually nothing, but, um, yeah, we'll, this is, we're stuck in this now, we have to do this. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. Okay. 140 it is now. Double the wages, as promised. So we've gambled I win, it. I get it back. Now, finish him! Got something special like that! Alright, so we gotta fight him and the other guy that was already fighting. Can we we can't use any signs, so it's a pure fight. Well Garrett punches like a wild man. Proper alehouse digs. Wait. Haven't been touched okay, as I say that, I get punched. Nice. Do we need to take all the health all the way down, or is it one of them where he'll give up when we get to halfway? Parry that shit. Hit him as well. Nice. You'll never learn. Come on. Parry that. Get, the, get his mate. Whoop. Whoa. 
Whoa. Oh, and flying knee. Nice. Oh, God. Trying to finish that guy off then. Got too cocky. Right, he's down. Just this guy now. One more parry and we got this. Nice. Easy. Now, give me back my money and do the job, please. Well, well. Ain't often you get such a lovely thrash in, I am. Man, speechless. But I can see it on his mug, bugger likes. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. For free, eh, Al? He doesn't speak much, does he? Coin? Have it, man. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing start. At least their man made the word. That's quite good. He did what they said. Right, let's go back to uh, Marina and tell us, tell her, excuse me, that we got all the work done for her. We're, the, the show is ready. 